Hey guys, it's 3 pm. I'm going to be talking to Ripzilla underscore UK. Let's find out a bit more about him, his lifestyle, PT life, and his opinions on the industry. So let me invite him now. Wait. Come on, Lila. Imagine I've invited him. Let's give it a few minutes for him to come online. Got my questions ready. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, come on. One more time, I'll try. Yeah, I've invited him, so I'm just going to wait now. Hi, guys. Hi, Mi still Miss Queen. How are you today? Don't watch my makeup today. It's look a bit rough, but it's all good. I'm happy. Let me fix the camera. Oh, God. Oh, why is it moving? One second. Come on, my bro. Yo. What's up, my bro? How are you doing? Let me just quickly catch you. Silly. Silly. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. What up, now? You good? You look good, bro. You look good. You're growing your hair. Yeah, man. I'm trying to go this afro, you know. It's cold. Oh, I like it. I like, I like the good stuff. The hard work, man. You know when the work where it gets too high, you don't even have time for yourself. Like, oh, you that's so true. Just... Are you talking yeah, about um, you be doing a lot of sessions. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's the PT life say though? It's not bad. Look, it's weekend and I'm in here it's training people. Like this is a little. Oh, you, you're, I'm gonna say you look like you're in the um the office. Yeah, I'm actually in the office. Look. Oh, look, man's at work. <laughs> Hey. I'm just about to eat a food. Look, sis. Oh, you can eat while you're talking to me. It's fine. Oh, that looks good, man. That looks good. Ooh, yeah, man. Long time. Yeah, it's been a long, long time, time, but it's good to see you. Thank you for taking the time out to sit and talk to me. Come yeah. on, sis. Just tell us a bit about yourself. Who are you? Where are you from? Oh, I'm from South London. Come on, everyone knows me. No. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Sam, Rick Zilla. Just trying to push through this fitness industry. You know, we've been in this for a long time, sis. So, you know, we're not mm, a stranger yeah. to the first. It's a, a, nah, a lot of people know us. We're some of the first, like, to make yeah, this shit pop. Yeah, we're one of the first. We've been on it from yeah. before people were on this gym thing. Mm, so, you yeah, you have a clothing you know. brand. You have a clothing yeah, brand as well. It's this. This is called Training Motivation. Yeah. No, I always want it to be different apart from everybody. It's not just about the clothing alone. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like I've yeah. always thought if you're gonna be a personal trainer, we're all we're all gifted and skillful in our own way. But then what makes you so unique? You know, like this brand is like another me showing appreciation to my, my clients and my supporters. Like, you know, if you're a training more you can also be a training motivator because you're in there putting in work, you're inspiring others, you know. Yeah. So that's why I like that's why I like um, all my training motivators. Get me. Yeah. yeah. Stuff That's you can have, stuff you can give your clients as well as a gift, you know. Mm. That's but, good, yeah. man, bro. You're doing really well with that. Like, I'm proud of you. I see both your clients it's wearing your like stuff. You. Huh? It's trying to be like you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Like you. I'm trying to be like you, bro. We can all learn from each other. You get me? Exactly, yes. Oh, um, so where's your gym based? Are you full time? Or are you part time at the gym? Full time? I'm, you know me. I'm everywhere. Like I float. Like I. You see me. One thing with me is like I like a challenge. Like I don't like to stay in one place for too long. Like one yeah. minute I'm in your gym. One minute I'm in gym group. In in, in whatever. I'm in fitness yeah. first. I'm in blacksmith. You know, like I got. I kind of like to have clients everywhere. Yeah. Like, I don't. I That's like to good. spread my wings. Listen, that's how it's got to be, man. That's really good. Because if yeah. you're if you're not every one basket, you know what I mean? It's not really a, a lot of opportunity. Yeah. 
we're people's we're people person like we we got people skills so in order for us to even grow there's there's so much different people sis like some people are hard to work with but we don't have to break that ice because we've been yeah. here for so long but you know yeah. like, it's not easy it's not easy industry you got to be a people's person like you know i'm here i'm there i got clients here and there i don't limit myself like i always yeah. have the challenge you know like i always want to go to easy, a club yeah? what when you say it's not easy what's not easy about the industry being a fitness being a fitness instructor and a personal trainer are kind of like two different things but you need to be a people's person because i've met so much different personal trainers they got the body they you know they their physique is sick but they don't have people skills yeah they believe they're too nice to go and talk to people you know like that like yeah, this is your yeah. money like you have to go and get your money this is don't get your money i don't want to talk to my yeah. money right now yeah, yeah let my money wait you know like that <laughs> but You know, some people your body sells for you. Don't get me wrong, but if you don't know how to like speech and talk to people, because mm-hmm. people are, people know what they want. And I, I, I kind of, I think I'm kind of lucky because I worked at Brixton Fitness first for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I came to see there one time. Yeah, remember? Yeah, that, that was, was a awesome. very competitive club. Yeah, and that well, club kind of made me the person I am. Why? Know, like, what I did had... it do? Tell me about it. Like, what? What? How did it make you grow? Like from when I did my level two, when I was I, I was there for like twelve, thirteen years, sis. So like dealing with people in Brixton, like everybody was sick. When I got into that club, I was I was surrounded by top personal trainers. I was inspired by DB. I don't know if you know DB. I even did my fit. I even did my spinning course because of her. I hated cardio, sis, and because she was so inspiring. I have I a who's that, that girl? DB. Yeah, DB's a big woman. She got short hair, and she, and she does trains. the spinning. She does. She trains. She does the spinning. Send me your Instagram. I want to talk to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna at you after. Yeah, she, thank she's you. Inspired. She's very inspirational. But she inspired you to do what? She inspired me to go into the spinning. You know when you do the spinning bikes and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, It's she hard. was a freelance spinning instructor. She was so good. We had other personal trainers. Like we had Dean, we had Shemek, we had so much people. So I was kind of like, I felt like I need to pick my game up. Yeah, that's like, good, you know, man. You no know, one's surrounded by people that no, there's no one better than us. We're better in our own way. We're good in our own way. But there's always someone that, bro, you know, I like your work effort. I want my work effort yeah. to be like. That. So it kind yeah, of and you, and you want you want to have people around you like that who have had experiences. Who can teach yeah. you something new? You know, exactly. in your yeah. game, in your business. I learned from so them. Big up that woman, man. Big up. Yeah, That's nice. Yeah, DB. Yeah. So yeah. roughly, yeah. how much time do you train a week? Like, it's quiet now. I'm kind of happy, you know. Yeah. It's quiet now. Yeah, I, I think you know what. I can can't price health. I'm kind of happy because my I used to have like 21 clients a day. Like last year during that time when that COVID thing happened, remember yeah. I ended up in outside and I was doing like a freelance. Um, outside, you know, we were all outside in like a boot camp. I was training everybody yeah. resistance bands and stuff. I kind of yeah. generated a lot more clients like that. I mm. felt like I should have done freelance, but yeah. I was training. I was doing like twenty hours at this club because like my hours here is like fifteen hours a week, and my days off I'll be here from like probably like five a.m. in the morning, and I don't see my house till probably like twelve at night because I've got clients scattered out throughout the whole day. The You're single, I'm yeah? Training, like, I'm single. You're single. You single? Mm-hmm. And you work so much hours, like oh my god! If my man worked twenty like, hours a day, I'll be like, oh. I'll be proud really of him and happy, like yeah, go for it. But when do I see? Yeah. I like when I've do married, I? When, I've uh? made the oath, man. I've made the oath. I've married to this. Yeah. You know, oh, that's like me. We're married to this. Look, that's why we're so useful. We look so young because we devote our time into this. You know, oh, there's, no, there's you. no real benefit in it than just being in a gym, you know. We've, we've gone past the age where we actually know the true benefits of this thing here. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. So Do you have any availability for any new clients at the moment? I've always got time for new clients. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'll knew you were going to say that, you know. I'll make time for them. Well, um, so tell me, tell me what it's like um, at that gym training people. I know you've got the whole oh, gym on lock, you know, You got a whole different look in it. I heard you come to the gym. Like, where is he? Where's this guy? Where's this? Where is? Yeah, this? I came down to your gym because my yeah. cousin came there, and he called, called me down to do a session with him. So I was like, yeah, I can't. Oh, and then yeah. when I went, I'm like, wait a minute, this is Sam's gym. I'm like, where's Sam? Oh, some random woman. Like, 
you know where um, training motivation is? You know where Sam is? He's like, oh no. Who she's like, who should I say? Ask for yeah, him? And then um, nice. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to come back down and surprise you. I was laughing, bro. You got, yeah, trust me. I went to talk to a few people in there. Like, where's Sam? Like, where is he? I can't see. I was like, how did she find me? Mm. I, trust me, I'll find you. Any gym you go, I'm going to find you. you know? I know. So you see the oh, PTs right. there? Do you get on with the PTs at your gym right now? Everyone's cool. It's like, do, they, do people do like this territory thing? Like, I'm trying to my clients yeah. to corner. Yeah. You know, people like to take a corner. Like, that's my spot. No, here is kind of, here is calm. Like, everybody, this, this gym is quite big. Like, really, we have more than enough space, you know. Yeah. And not all the first day trainers, you really use all the areas of the gym. Some are just really good in the studio. Like, that's the... That is their area. You can't go in there and try to do what they do because they're good yeah, in the studio. Oh, that's nice. Some that's good, good that everyone gets done, man. It's better that yeah. way, you know? Yeah, and you have the ones that love to use just cables. So you have them personal training. They're always on the cable with their clients. And you have the ones on the gym floor. Like, you see in our gym floor area, we've got the yeah. sporting racks and all that yeah. stuff. So it's give, quite, you know, I like to give, like, when I see PTs training, I like to give them their respect. Like, <clears> I see you yeah. there, I'm around, you know? So your time like, there. One time yeah. I went, like, a PT um, was training a client, and um, I went in between them one yeah. time, and, like, the look that they gave me was, like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. like, don't walk through me and my client sort of energy. So I was, yeah, like, I, I kind of felt yeah. it, and I just walked around, I was, like, sorry. But ever, like, not ever yeah. since then, but I don't really, I, I just back off now. If I see them training over there, I'm not even going for that weight or that bar. I can go stuff. Yeah, 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 I'll go. But yeah, I just don't like when you're training someone and like someone wants to come and speak to you, like you got one of your colleagues that they know that you shouldn't be speaking to. But like, I, like you said, you don't, you know, when trainers are training their clients, it's good. And then you yeah. get people that just come and interrupt you, like they want to have a big conversation with you. Don't you ever get that? Yeah, yeah, uh, I get that. People yeah, come up to you like and it. like you're training a client, but they're talking to you, and it's like, I'm trying to be professional. Like, be with the client, but I don't want you to feel some type of way, so I'm going to talk to you yeah. a little bit, but then it's like, <clears throat> the training, the training. There's no training, you know? takes patience. There's so much business, yeah. like, you know. Yeah, yeah it, it does. It takes, takes a lot of patience, you know. So how, how, how are you training your body now? How are you training now? Oh, man. But ever six That's pack, a, man. Yeah, I know. It's just there now. It just doesn't go nowhere. It's stuck there. <laughs> it's not going nowhere. It's it's pack, boy. It doesn't go, I've conditioned that to a level where it doesn't go, I'll eat my pound of yam. You, you know yeah. how it is. That's not me, you know, what do I do? My stomach is just flat. Yeah, man. Thank you, Lord. We've conditioned, we've conditioned <laughs> like, it to that level where it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. So what, what type of training are you doing, man? Tell me. Oh, look, come on. You know, like, I'm getting to a point where, like, it's not even about being hench anymore. Like, I've actually done that. I'm, like, yeah, I'm done, I've done it all. Done all. Yeah, I'm going on 44, like. like I feel about me. I'm going on 44, like. I just want to keep, I just want a long life and good health. I want a good body. And no way. I be one of them old no man way. Sam. Sam, you're, four, you're 43. Yes. Sam, you look amazing. Oh, my God. I thought you was younger than me. <laughs> oh, say. my. Hey, you look yeah. like, you look amazing. I thought you was younger than me, bro. You thought I was younger You're a big man. Come on. My voice has gone all high. <laughs> I'm 44. Wow, I can't believe it. You know, yeah, I swear, every time I tell you my age, you're like, you always do this. Yeah, because I'm just like, I'll tell you. I always think that you're younger than me. Like, it's because of how you look. Uh, if you ever ask your sister, she'll tell you my age precisely. Like, yeah, he's a big man. Yeah, listen, you're older than my big sister, Nisha. You're older than Nisha. Like, oh my God, I thought you was Tasmin's age. No. Nah. Oh, I didn't think you was that older, you know? And then at, when I first met you, I thought you were younger than me. I know. I just think you were younger than me, but you were like, you're my big bro. Wow, I forgot what so question fitness. I was gonna ask. Fitness is very important from a young age, it keeps your body sustained, which are nice. Like, you're always gonna have your youth, like, you're always, your body is just gonna be tight. Oh, guys, I'm in shock, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'm in shock. Oh, my God. 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 O
So when's your yeah, birthday? You what month your birthday? I'll text you after, but I want to know your the birthday. Cancerian. The Cancerian. Oh, look, Cancerian. It's all sensitive, you know. I know. Lovely so men. So, so how long have you been a um, like professional, fitness professional then? How long? When did you start studying and well, then start I've been, I've, done my, I've been a fitness instructor for like 20 years. And I've been like personal training for like 11 years. 10, 11 years. What was you doing before personal training? I was doing the fitness. I was just doing fitness instructor, like doing group exercises. I was working with um, disabled kids. Like in a studio, I was doing like PE stuff, and I was yeah. Doing... So yeah, you've never um, you, that's you've never done any other career. You've been straight in the fitness industry. No, I did. I did. I did do like I did like some. I did like um. I worked in um. I worked in a Royal Mail. Probably like when I was around twenty. I kind of had much jobs in life, you know. I've only I yeah, but you were doing that like, to support the fitness thing, though, wasn't it? I've always been into fitness. Like I've mm. after after working at Royal Mail, I worked in yeah, I worked at Royal Mail mostly. And then I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna jump onto fitness because my family my family background, my mum was an athlete runner and my dad yeah. was just a gym addict anyway, so he was, oh, he good. was going to the gym. Your mum was so a so runner. My was so yeah, my mum was a runner. She used to run for a school in Africa now. My mum run my mum used to run us down barefoot in Gloucester like, just to beat us up. <laughs> Yeah, he, what? I run my mom barefoot. She used to run me. So what? Is she like a sprinter or long distance runner? Yeah, she's fast, a sprinter. Fast, 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 fast. Oh, my type of girl, hundred meters. So she was always like oh, barefoot for like, in the mornings when we was younger. I didn't know, but I just knew that my mom was fast. But she used to go for jobs every morning and that. So I was kind of surrounded by fitness. Yeah. And as I was going older, all like all of us wanted to go to gym. Peck and pose, we go peck and pose. Yeah. Like, when, I was like, when I was about 15, I was getting into gym, like 14, 15. Wow, man. I was young, so by the time I was like 20, I was just lovely getting, trying to get bigger, trying to have this. Would you like, ever do like, I think you should do competitions, man. Like I was I, about it. Yeah, you know, like a, the pros. I don't, don't the I don't want the right. I've, I've trained like people for competitions. I've trained like yeah. Like people competition, I still do that, you know. Yeah, but I would have done that when I was, you know, like when I was younger and stuff. I can still you're do young it. Now. I, you're still young I now. Talk, I can talk about it the other day. I'm like, Rod, do you see these guys on wheelchair that's doing competition? Their body's better than people that got two feet. These yeah. guys on wheelchair, they got a meanest six pack, the shoulders, the back. There's, there's no excuses, you get me? We yeah, can go no there. I could be out there at 60 and still have a good body. I say, oh, I'm 60. I'm going to go and show off this yeah. body that I've got for 60 yeah. year old. Yeah, yeah so... did you see the guy that I spoke to um, a couple of weeks ago? Muscle Dragon, IFBB Pro. Yeah, this guy. guy. Yeah, he ha and he was like, he was ill, went into a coma with COVID. Yeah, I think I remember that. But if you see him he's now, like, I can't believe it. Like, yeah, he's recovering. Because of that, I'm that. getting other stories that make me think like I'll never give up on what I love. But that, when I saw up. that, I was like, wow. That solidifies it. Yeah. yeah Imagine being on your deathbed and then getting a second chance and then just going all the way with it. Like, it's amazing. It? It. Like, great it's mindset. Serious, yeah, huh? it's very serious. I said it's yeah. like a therapeutic thing, isn't it? It's yeah, like it is. body rehabilitation. Like. It definitely is. And a lot, do you, yeah. a lot of people have body dysmorphia though that um, do training. You met a few people that have that, where you look at them, and you think you look amazing, and they're like, "Oh, I just want to work on on this bit as well, and then I'm yeah. going to work on that bit." You know, even with the yeah. women, like, oh, "I'm trying to get my stomach flat yeah. and my thighs yeah, bigger," yeah, my and it's like, "You look great already. You don't need to do anything," and they're just not that. seeing it. I like mm -hmm. that because we all, we all have that. We all have that. That's the that's the drive. That's the fire that drives you. It's like you're mm. never gonna, you're, you're, you're never settle for less. We we don't settle for less. No matter how good, how hard we work, is way beyond certain people's work rate. But we still yeah. don't give ourselves the rate. Is that, you know what? It's there. You have it already. But because yeah. it's something you're told you to do, you're always gonna keep driving and driving and driving. Now like, people look at you like, right, you're amazing. Look at your body, but then you know, you know there's, there's a little missing chip areas I wanna do. Like you're yeah. perfect. 
Yeah, but so I'm not like that, you know. I'm only, the only time I get like that is if, like, I sometimes I fluctuate. I go between, I go nine stone. And then in the summer, I'm ten stone. Winter, I'm nine stone. <laughs> summer, I'm ten stone. I'm like, ah, yeah, just yeah, stay ten stone, man. Yeah, I just want to stay on ten that. stone, but I can't. I just keep yeah. going back and forth. And that would be the only thing that I'll probably be like, yeah, I don't like. My weight fluctuates. That's the only thing that I'll fight with. That's yeah, but I know, I, I know my reason I why. Why, why that happens now, do you know what I mean? I got overactive thyroids, so oh, that makes me lose weight a lot. Yeah. Even when I'm trying yeah. to put on the weight, you know, if my hormones are in balance, I'm going to lose yeah. weight. But with me, I will fight against it all the time. Every summer, size 10, yeah. more hip, more bum, more strength. And in the summer, I'm smaller, but I'm still strong. So, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all about, but, um, it's all about you, I know you like raving. I saw you out the other day, raving. Raving? Yeah, I saw you raving, man. You're not that's on it anymore. Time I, that's the first place I've been this year. And last year. I never went out last year. Wow! Last year, I didn't go out. I don't go out. I don't go nowhere. That, on my life, that guy, he begged me to come out. They all, they all begged me. They <laughs> are you going to go out more this year, though? There's nothing out there for me, man. I've done it all, man. No. You've done it all. Oh, you talk to me like you're some old man, you know, like, I've done it all, I'm retired. I've been raving before. It doesn't entice yeah, me. Dude. It doesn't yeah. entice me. Yeah. That's like me. I can't, like, I can't remember the last time I went raving. I can't even remember. Unless I'm having, like, a reunion where I'm going to meet all of you, Tasman, all of us, old school. Yeah. I had one of those old school jungle raves. You know, like, in all yeah. kind of raves. Not yeah. Like this. Like jungle rave? No, I'm wearing earplugs, man. I don't like it. Yeah, old school jungle rave. No, no, no. I'm like, yeah. ah! I'll just be like, it's this. It's like cardio. You know how they used to get the dancing back in the days in jungle? It's like cardio, just the dancing. I know, long that long. was everyone sweating, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> jumping around. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Get <laughs> around. Hey. <laughs> So you don't go out and stuff. So what do you do when you're not working? And when you, what do you do? When I'm not working, I, the gym. I meditate, man. I think about my next move and that. Or I go oh, to the gym just to get my mind right. Yeah. It's not, that's amazing. You know, there's a lot of things going on in life that we don't really even pay attention to. All we want to do, we try to suppress it by trying to do things to make us happy. But the trouble doesn't go away just by making yourself happy. You need to actually face the face their challenge head on first, like correct that. And then yeah. you can move on to other things. But it doesn't have to be a rave, you get me? You can be your own house, just appreciate your time to yourself. There's a lot of things happening out there. We don't we don't really look at it like that. We feel like yeah. it's never gonna yeah. happen to me, but who are we? Like life is fragile babe. Like, yeah. You know like, and it's short. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't I don't put myself beyond my boundaries that God didn't put me. God put me in a circle where I'm good. I got everything I need. No Thank you, Kim. Ever. Kim Sweetness said that um, you're an excellent trainer. <laughs> Hello, Kim. You yeah, know that is. Hi, Kim. Thank you. That Kim. was lovely. Kim was my android, you know. She's strong. Yeah? She's strong, yeah. Oh, I love that. Check I have to come to I think you have to, I think you have to chat to Kim, you know. Yeah? Kim, I would love to talk to Kim. Send, yeah. send, send me the people Kim. you want me to talk to. Trust me, you know, I yeah. want to talk to everyone. Yeah, make sure you holler at Bella. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Hi. Oh, no, I'm excited yeah. to speak to you, Kim. I hope, yeah, I hope yeah. I can get some of your time. That would be nice. Some, some errors. Me and Kim go way back, man. Me and Kim should train hard. Yeah? Yeah, oh, Kim, that's Kim's it. got good work rate effort, man. She's got stronger legs than you, innit? Yeah, she's got... Than me! Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. I feel like you done. I feel like she's strong. I'm the ultimate. Yeah, no, that's nice, man. Wanna, you know she doesn't work at the moment. What do you do for work, Kim? What does she do? Kim's, just, Kim's got many talent, man. I can't tell you what yeah. Kim does now, man. Kim's you know, the women like Kim, where they just, they go in and do this, like, this job. They got a job, and then they're really good. And straight after, Kim's straight after the job, they go straight to the gym. I admire <laughs> women like that that can go for a whole eight hour tip and then just go straight to the gym yeah. before they go home. Some people just like, no, I'm going home, I'm tired. She's a manager she, at Labbrooks. Big up yourself, manager. She said, that, she said nice. I used to kill her. 
She said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you say, you know? You die and you fly and you look amazing. Yeah, but I hope you're still training, Kim. I hope you're still training. You know, um, yeah. in school, did you do PE in school? Did you, you like those football guys? Like, what would you like in school? I, I like PE in school. I didn't think I did a lot of it. PE was one of my actual favorite times of being in school, you know. Because I was yeah, like, just a lot of so. Yeah, it was active. I like, I like, I like the PE. I like the badminton. I like the the mm. tennis. It's active. Yeah. But yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, I wanted to be a PE teacher as well, but I kind of moved yeah. straight into the level two. Yeah. yeah, sometimes so uh, you, people, you teachers, they're not happy, man. You think so? I've only seen, like, I had a PE teacher called Mr. King, and he, he was, ha- like, he loved training children. You could see it. Like, mm. and then there's um, another PM, um, another one called Mr. Knight, and yeah. he always wore shorts. Like, he came to school dressed in PE outfit all yeah, through the day, you know? Idea. Like this guy, but he was so moany. So I'm like, he must be a long distance runner, by the way. When I'm thinking of how he looked now, but he was so moany. It's like, Mr. Knight, like, yeah, you trust yeah. like you're on it. So what's just moaning to the kids all the time? But then the, the bigger Jamaican Mr. King, like, <laughs> I, I him, like, he was on it, like, better get out of the time at them. Like, he's always <laughs> me doing something, but always bring me back to. Yeah, you gotta love those teachers, man. Any teachers yeah. you remember? Oh, uh, oh, uh, Mrs. KP. She was a she was a um, fitness um, um PE teacher. She was quite fit still. Yeah, yeah, you know uh, that. Yeah, yeah. you know if she was fit than <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I didn't fancy none of my teachers, you know. Yeah, not she, one. She, uh, I saw her after, though. Still after. Mm. Yeah. So what are you up to this year, man? What are we going to see from your brand and from you and your clients? Are you killing them? <laughs> I just I just make people stronger, you know? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm taking on a lot of people, like, you know, like, probably, like, you know, heart problems, you know, or people that's, like, you know... Better like, population. Like, yeah, like I'm trying to deal with more elderly now, not like people that, oh, I want a big bum. I'm tired of it. Yeah, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this big no, bum. I'm so talk, tired of people. I'm tired of it, shit. <laughs> they want a big bum. Like, gosh, man. No. That's not a realist. That, I'm not it's here not for a bum. that. Yeah, I want you to come to me and say, oh, you know what? I don't have, I, I don't, I can't sleep. I, don't, I can't get appetite. You know, like uh, I'm restless. I, I, I can't yeah. gain weight. You know, like yeah. that. This, yeah, because you're a technical trainer. That's all it is. You go, you want to go in depth, internal yeah, health. Like, you know? like that's my, really you know, good. My heart rate is too high. I've got clients that their heart rate is too high. Now, I, it makes me want to pay attention to you because it's vital. It's not, I want a big bath for next year, summer. Like, you know, yeah. 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 Like, yeah, try him over there. I'm going to do yeah, I'm gonna help actually it. extend your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I wanna, I wanna be, I wanna be able to run for longer. I wanna be fitter. You know, mm. I, I, I don't have. A, yeah, I'm here to help you with those things there. Like, you know, yeah. I wanna, I want my right, my scapula is weaker than my left. Things like that. Yeah. You know, one of the toughest clients I think I had this year, she had lupus. You get me? And and her and her and her shoulder was so bad that the first session I did with her. It's, it, it, Fix her, fix her up. Yeah. I don't even see it. I don't even see it And anymore. it's good when they can feel the results and when they come back to you and they're like, oh my God, I feel better. This has improved. Yeah, and but, because of like, you, this has happened. That's what we live for, isn't it? That's our passion. Hey, I trained this girl the first time that she's been in pain. From the, from, till she saw me, she was in pain. And like, you know, like, we trained to a point where she almost cried and it almost brought tears to my eyes that she was going to cry. Like, you know, like, because... Yeah. Like, oh my god, I've been fucked all this time. I've been doing this and doing that. This is all you're gonna do, just to make sure yeah. now I can lift my arm up. Oh, no. He wanted that's to cry. Like, you know, that's, like, that. so like, that's, that's a blessing with my knowledge, my acknowledgement that I can give somebody and make them feel like that. If yeah. You can, if you can go in that gym floor and make somebody feel like that, that's that's a blessing. That's the best that's thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's your power. You're, thing, using, man. you're exercising yeah. your gifts and your powers that, you know, this is this is you. This is what brings food to your plate. Whatever you do, 
do it to your best, do it to your fullest. Yeah, you know, it's like, true. I was kind what, of what you... and happy for it. Say that again. I was just happy for it, like, you know, like, right. Yeah, like, look, of course, yeah, of like, course. Like, That's what we live for. That That's yeah. a passion, you know? It's oh, you're so cute. You said when she's going to cry, you was going to cry. Yeah, so connected to science. That's so sweet. That thing would make me book you straight away. Like, he's emotionally connected. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's really good. It's really good. But what you yeah, see, the yeah. industry's changed a lot in the twenty years that you've been doing training and training people and coaching, and changing lives. Yeah, the industry's I've seen so changed. Much. Like, what what have you seen changed about the industry? What's changed to you? What about the fitness industry? Yeah. The people that are in it now are not serious. Okay. Elaborate. The new, the new fitness instructors are in it for the girls. And the girls are in it to get a big bump. Now, the actual female personal trainers that I see on Instagram, they don't really do anything. They, used to, they do all this basic stuff. And I actually, was talking, to, and I actually I'm... was talking to a personal trainer on Instagram the other day that, you're, you're, are you a personal trainer or are you just somebody that's trying to like say, this is my fitness journey, but you want people to follow you? Because... Your exercises that you're writing doesn't match your video. So you're saying you're doing a a, a, a super set. No, you'd say you're doing a super set, but actually, I see you doing like three exercises back to back, which is a tricep. So you're confusing people that doesn't really know nothing about super set to a tricep. She didn't even know she was doing a tricep. She said it was a super set. So yeah. it's not a super set. So you're doing three exercises back to back. Tricep. Yeah. If you're doing yeah. anything more than three exercises back to back, it's a giant set. So yeah. Back to yeah. Back. It's a so you're confusing your crowd. So like, you, you, know. see, you see what I'm saying? People like that make it harder for people like us who this is our passion. This is our life. Yeah. Like, our life. Like, yeah. Like, you it's up no knowledge. Mm. Like, There's a video. Me. Did you see that video of the guy that was like squatting? Stop squatting. Squatting doesn't lift your butt. Build your butt. And then they showed you yeah. like four exercises that build no, your bum. Build your bum. Squat is not a bum building exercise. Yeah, it that's what he said. Bum. He said Titan that don't is. build. And then he gave he gave like three exercises, three four exercises of um how to build your bum. Trainers like you. that, I can I love trainers like that because they're showing yeah, you okay. Yeah. Just because your bum yeah. looks like it's stretching when you're squatting doesn't mean it's targeting that. Do you know what I mean? There's three exactly. muscles in the bum. And we want to target all three muscles, all sometimes isolate each one, you know? So exactly. he showed, and from I started taking that on from him, I see my own butt. Exactly. You know? yeah. We spend so much time listening to other people thinking that they're better. They're mm. not. They're just, you know, yeah, they're, some people don't know. Yeah. yeah and like, it's not bad to challenge a PT, go and ask them questions. Like, they're supposed to be yeah. there to give you the answer. It's their profession, exactly. you know? So if you exactly. go up to a PT, guys, and, and they're like, oh, I don't know, ask this or ask that. Well, like, no, that's I, won't to you. I won't lie to you. Not all personal trainers know how to build bum. No, Not all personal no. trainers know how to work ass. Yeah, so you could be a personal trainer, but I don't know. What kind of personal trainer are you? Because I've, I've come across so much. Per I've trained personal trainers, you know. Like, I've yeah, come across same, personal trainers same. that doesn't really... They, they have a qualification, but they've never really pushed their body like how we pushed our body really. Yeah, and in my head, I think, why, why are they training then? Like, yeah, why, why you are you guys choosing this profession? I don't get your it. Your passion itself is not even fitness. Like, you're just a personal trainer, but you don't have a passion. It's like you want to be a driver, but you don't really. You don't really like yeah, it's true. Do you have any? automatic stuff and go. It doesn't mean you can drive because you got an automatic car. You, you can drive a manual. You can drive an automatic, you're a driver. If you can only drive automatic, you can't, it's not, you can't drive a manual, so... Yeah. You can be a personal trainer to a certain level, but you don't really... You could have... I've seen personal trainers with love handles. Now, how do they get rid of that? Yeah, it's true. Sure they don't want to come to work looking, having love handles all the time. Yeah. Like guys. Yeah, so how yeah. do they get rid and of that? And why would I book someone who doesn't look like... Yeah. Doesn't look like... Like, they're not playing the role. They don't look the part. You know, sure. like when I see fat personal trainers, I, in my head, yeah. I just say, you know what? I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, they got knowledge. They must have bare knowledge. They got knowledge, yeah. I've but then if you got the knowledge, why are you not applying it to yourself? Exactly. I don't get it. I mean, your body is your door. Your body is your guinea pig, isn't it? Yeah. You like, should start a new class. When I do the app class, one time I fitness first, 
Somebody actually mm. challenged me. Somebody actually said, do you have abs? Let's see your abs there. So you're making a zero this. So I fucking showed my abs now. I got in trouble yeah, for that. Yeah, you can't I got in trouble for that. You know, but she challenged me in my class that, no, you're making a Z too much. Let me see your abs. Why would you get in trouble oh, for that? Because I was I was on ship and I'm showing my she said something about indecent exposure to the members in the club. Like it's like if um, you can't take off your top in the gym while you're training, it's like I just Yeah. Decent exposure, club. but the members can do that to you though. Yeah. That don't mean that's not fair. That ain't fair, right? right? Thought, yeah. So but any I'm any go, any too. goals, any of your clients got what's their goals this year? Name some of the goals that they've got. And Oh, I got uh I got well one one girl's getting married. So she's got oh. to Yeah, but That's she's not so feeling the work rate that I want her to, you know. Mm. You know, like I just I can tell when somebody's you know, like just yeah, they're gonna get this result because they're just so happy they're just so happy yeah. to train, they're excited, they're yeah. on time, yeah. the drive yeah. is there, like you give them a workout, they don't complain, they just get it over and done with Yeah, you've got, got, got a vision for the wedding. Yeah, it's yeah, drive, like isn't it? She's hyped up. She's ready. Like, she's going. She's training. She does everything. She gives me more more reps than I even want. Yeah. Like, oh, I love yeah. clients like that. I love clients yeah, like, like that that go in and give you extra two. Yeah. They give, give me extra two reps. Like, I'll give you a free session for that shit. Like, I love yeah, it. Yeah, like, I love that. And I can yeah. see that we're heading for great, you know. We've when's that, great when's that wedding? When's that wedding? All good. Yeah, she got good time. She got good time. She's going to look amazing. I love one of my cousins. He's going to Nigeria soon, so he's he's getting his six pack ready. He's oh, he's trying to get chilling. that Niger body. So, yeah. yeah, so we're trying to just we're trying to like, situate the back muscles so we can tighten up the obliques. Yeah, so, yeah got, that's um, where you're originally got, from, Nigeria. Yeah, my dad's my dad's from America. My mom, I was born in Nigeria. My mom's Nigerian, isn't it? So I'm Nigerian. I love that. Well, my dad's originally from Kansas. Your yeah. Kansas? Where Dorothy was in the Wizard of Oz? Yeah. No, yeah. one of them got a yellow bit road. <laughs> Sorry, I love yeah. Kendra. Yeah, but um, <laughs> so I'm gonna see you this year. I'm gonna hopefully be doing some face to face interviews in the summer. I pray that. Yeah. You know, and I want to catch up with you in about six months time, three months time. See how you're getting on and how things are with you. But I'm just so proud of you, bro, man. I just want to let you know that. All right. I'm the proud of you, team, man. I'll, I'll, you every a... time I talk about you, I'll big you up. You see what I'm saying? And just keep doing your thing. Looking 10 you years too, younger man. than you are, man. I can't believe you just told me your age. I'm in shock. Stop guessing me, man. Hey, you're beautiful. I love you. And I'm so proud of you. And I'm going to go now because I'm going to speak to um a lady called Maria. Yeah. And I'm going to find out as much about her as I can as well. But I hope yeah. you have a great gonna, day at I'm work. Gonna huh? DB, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna look for DB, and I'll send you this, the um her Instagram so you can shout her as well. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and the Kim girl. Well. I'm gonna look for Kim Sweetness. I remember her name, yeah. Kim Sweetness. Kim, okay, yeah. and the other so, girl yeah. send it to me. Um, and my top, my training motivation I've top. Ordered, yeah. I've ordered your top already. Yeah, I've ordered. Yeah. That. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah. I look forward to it. I'm gonna wear it on my lives. Yes. Okay, I'll see you soon, yeah? All right, then, see. I'll see you later. Bye.